Today we're going to be showing you how to install the new style tow mirrors on an 07 to 14 F-150. This vehicle is already outfitted with the older style tow mirrors, however the procedure will be similar if upgrading from small mirrors to tow mirrors. So we're going to start by removing this shield right over here. You're just going to take a 90 degree pick, kind of get back behind it, and then pop it back. And just remove that. And you can see there's one right down in here as well. We'll go ahead and pop that out. We're going to go ahead and remove the 8mm bolt located by the door handle. We're also going to remove the 8mm bolt right down here. Now using a 6mm, we're going to go ahead and remove these two at the bottom. After those bolts are out, the door panel should just lift straight up. So now we're going to go ahead and remove the door cable from the door latch. There's just these two tabs right here. You can squeeze them with some needle nose pliers or a flat blade, and then it should just uh, kind of push through and you can release it. And just go ahead and unplug the connector going to the mirror switch, as well as the other connectors right down here. And then once you have everything unplugged, you just go ahead and lift off the door panel and set it off to the side. Now we'll go ahead and unplug the mirror connector. There's just a latch on the front here. So just kind of depress that and pull it straight out. Now we're just going to go ahead and remove the three 11 millimeter nuts. Make sure you're supporting the mirror on the other side. Then we'll just go ahead and remove the mirror. There is a body clip, so it may be a little firm. You just kind of pull straight out and it'll release. Now we'll just go ahead and mount up the new mirrors provided by Boost Auto Parts. Make sure you route the wiring harness through the door. Now we'll go ahead and tighten the three 11 millimeter nuts. And we'll go ahead and plug back in the factory connector. Now if you purchase switchback or signal and running light mirrors, they would have come with a little adapter harness right here. You'll go ahead and plug that in. You'll just have this blue wire, which is going to be your running light power feed. Now we're going to go ahead and pull back this splash shield right here. Being careful not to rip it. Just want to kind of get access right down to this area right here. We're going to take our blue wire, just pass it in right there. We're going to be grabbing it on the other side to pull it through the door boot. Now we need to remove the door boot. This is just a grommet style, so you should just be able to pull it straight like that. Then you're going to go ahead and use your hand over there to just route the wire over to your hand through the door boot. And just pull the slack through, being careful not to chase the wire. And we'll go ahead and pull off the cab side. Again, it's just a grommet style, so we'll just go ahead and pull that straight back. And it will release. Now we've just taken a little coat hanger that we've straightened out. You can use any firm piece of metal and we're taping the blue wire to it. So we just went ahead and scrunched the rubber boot together and then we're just pushing the rod through. You can see it's coming through on the other side and you'll just pull it and then the wire should come with it. Now we need to remove some trim panels to grab it on the inside. We'll start by just removing this one. Should just be able to pull it straight up. Right, then we're going to go ahead and remove the weather stripping. You don't have to remove it fully, just enough to get that trim piece out. And now we're going to remove this trim piece with the hood latch in it. You're just going to go ahead and pull it straight back and it will release. Now we're going to go ahead and route it from the door side straight through the cab. There's a little grommet it needs to pass through. Now certain higher trim F-150s may have a door jam connector right over here. In this case we're going to have to run the wires in an alternative method. Now we're going to take a straightened out piece of coat hanger and we're going to poke it in the rubber boot straight on the inside. So we'll just do it right up near where it enters the connector. And you'll just go ahead and pull it straight on through making sure not to hit any other wires. And just pull a little bit out so we can tape a wire to it. We'll just go ahead and tape our blue wire to the straightened out piece of wire. I want to make sure it's nice and tight so that we can pull it straight through that rubber boot. We'll just go ahead and pull the slack straight on through, fishing the wire with it. 
we're just going to go ahead and pull back the weather stripping straight over here. Then we're going to pass the wire straight on the inside of that, pulling all of our slack through. You just want to leave a little bit of slack here in the door, that way the door can open and close, and then you'll just go ahead and put the weather strip back into place. Okay, now we showed you the door panel removal on the driver's side. The procedure is the exact same on the passenger side, so we're not going to show you that. Same thing, we just ran that blue wire down through the door boot. Now what we've done is we're using our straightened coat hanger again. We have the blue wire taped to it, and we're going to go ahead and fish it through the dash right over here. All right, so we'll go ahead and push it straight through back behind this plastic piece. And then we'll go ahead and push it through the other side. And then grab it on the other side. And the blue wire should come with it. Okay, and now you can see we're working with this boot right up against the firewall. You can see there's already been some upgrades to this truck, so there's some existing wires going through there. You may or may not have that. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead and kind of pass it through on the bottom side of that boot. So just kind of push it straight on through. It'll help if you kind of have another person on the other side to help grab this. So you can see we're on the other side, right up over here. And then you'll just go ahead and pull it through. Now what we did is we went ahead and spliced the passenger side wire to the driver's side as the driver's side does have more length than the passenger side. You can do that or you can run them both through. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the headlight so we can get access to the connector on the back side. We're going to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. And then there's going to be one more on the side right down here. Then the headlight should just pop right out. All right, now you can see there's this brown connector. It's gonna be the park turn signal assembly. We're just gonna go ahead and twist that and pull that out. And now you're going to be tapping onto pin B. Pin B is located in the middle of the connector as shown here. The wire color may vary. However, the running light power feed will always be located on pin B. Okay, and now we're gonna take the T-tap provided by Boost Auto Parts and place it onto the wire from pin B. That's gonna be the middle pin. In this case, it's a yellow with blue stripe. However, the wire color may vary, so make sure you go off pin location as primary reference. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the wire straight into the metal portion of the jaw, right like so. Then we're gonna go ahead and fold the T-tap over and just clamp it until you hear it clip. Now we just went ahead and routed the blue wire straight up over here and you can see we have, have it passing down straight over to here. We're going to go ahead and be hooking that up. Now what we're going to do is with the blue wire we're going to go ahead and strip a little bit of the insulation off. And then we're going to place it into the fusible tap provided by Boost Auto Parts. Then we'll go ahead and crimp it down. Then we're going to go ahead and take a heat gun. This is a shrink wrap buck connector. We'll just go ahead and heat it down. Then we'll go ahead and take the disconnect from the tap provided by Boost Auto Parts. And we'll go ahead and plug it straight into the T-tap. You want to make sure that the metal slides straight into the middle of the T-tap and that the disconnect slides all the way forward. Now you'll notice there are some other connectors on this headlight wiring. That's because this has a custom headlight bulb. Your truck likely won't have that, so you can just disregard that. And before button everything up, we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that the running lights work. In this case, these mirrors are outfitted with switchbacks, which is the white running light. So we'll just go ahead and flip them on, make sure that both sides work. As long as they do, we'll go ahead and begin to put the truck back together. We'll go ahead and put the park turn signal bulb back into the headlight housing. And we'll go ahead and place the headlight back into position. We'll go ahead and put in the first 10 millimeter bolt. And we're going to go ahead and place in the other two 10 millimeter bolts. And now you'll just go ahead and place back on your interior trim pieces. We're going to go ahead and just place the door boot back in. It's just a grommet, so you should just be able to push it back in. And do it on both sides. Now we're going to go ahead and place the door panel back on. One important thing to note is you want the door lock lever to be in the up unlocked position. That way you can feed it through the door panel. 
So you'll start by kind of getting these bottom clips latched down at the bottom so it kind of holds a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and plug back in these switches. You know, plug back in the mirror adjust switch. And we're going to connect the door handle lever again. First thing you're going to do is hook the ball socket on the mechanism, and then you'll pull it straight back and towards the latch, and then you'll just push it straight through. Then you just go ahead and latch the door. You want to make sure that your lock clears here, and again, make sure that it's in the unlocked position. So just go ahead and start by lining that up, and then the door should just latch straight down. Now we're going to go ahead and put back in the 8mm bolts. There are two different bolts. The one in the door grab has the washer, so we'll go ahead and place that one on first. I'll go ahead and put the one in the door grab. Then we're going to go ahead and put back in the 6mm bolts at the bottom of the door. I'll we'll go ahead and put back in the trim cover. And just like that, your installation is complete. To get all the parts shown in this video, as well as other parts for your truck or SUV, check us out at BoostAutoParts.com.